What is up boys and girls and welcome back. It's Abba, like always with some more Evolve and uh, this time we are oh, taking the, what the hell is that? Trapper role and we're playing as Maggie which was the only Trapper oh, that I, I had unlocked right the whole time and We have Hank as a support. We have Hyde as our salt. We have Val as our medic and uh, The monster we're facing today is the Wraith um, it's the same exact player as the last Wraith um, video that I have uploaded. So uh, this is almost like revenge time. It's almost like, hey, you know what? You beat me last time as a Wraith. Let's see if I could uh, maybe put a dent in your record, oh, basically. Even like though the Wraith is really OP. Um, you know, I, I think monsters. the statistics for the end of the beta was that the Wraith won 7 or 8 times out of 10. Uh, more or less, so that's ridiculously crazy. We see the Wraith right there. He's like right Shit, there. I throw down the dome, and we are able to catch the Wraith at level one. Now, as I was saying before, the Wraith is super OP just because it's no, so it quick. You could hardly ever even have it in your sight because of its decoy ability. It's super like it's it's just so OP. Even at level one, you can see that we have captured it as stage one and even at stage one right now we are looking for it we have no idea where it is no idea whatsoever it seems like he the wraith might have wow, pounced on one of our um one of our okay. allies which he did um you know it, it should it's important that you know he's he should have stayed in the group with us um the medic is gonna get our support up and uh we're kind of regrouped i set down some Harpoon traps, hopefully able to, uh, you know, keep the, keep the, the, the Wraith from escaping, keeping them pinned down in a single position, so maybe you could do some damage. You can see, the Wraith has the smallest armor bar out of every monster, like, it's a really teeny tiny little baby thing of, uh, armor, and we weren't even able to deplete its armor, it's that strong, and you can see right there, if anyone even, um, Slightly uh, get separated from the group is really easy for the Wraith to pounce attack and just, uh, you know, do damage that way. Uh, it used Warp Blast there. I'm almost out of HP, by the way. Where's our medic? Um, I need some healing. Holy crap, he abducted me. Used Warp Blast right after. Thankfully, Hank uh, was able to give me a pretty good shield, and I'm pretty sure uh, the medic should be uh, more or less healing me up right now, getting the team Ow. up to par. Uh, the. Maggie? The Wraith was able to get a strike down oh, on our support, um, on Daisy, and uh, it's not looking too oh, good. Yeah, it's not looking too yeah. good. And I'm not sure how Daisy fares against the Wraith. Like, if... One of the questions I have is, okay, so the Wraith he has his decoy ability. Um, does the decoy... Back. Since I haven't played it, um, does the decoy leave tracks? Um, does Daisy yeah, follow the decoy if the decoy is activated? Like, what, you know... What exactly... Um, no. what exactly are the parameters that the decoy can be used? Can it leave oh, tracks? Can really Is it able to take no, Daisy gotta... off the, you know, the actual track of the monster? You can see right there, I saw the decoy and I was like, well, maybe the Wraith is nearby. And because of that, um, I put down my, my dome. Um, uh, I'm not sure if the Wraith was in there or not. We didn't really see it. And I think, uh, my teammates and I agreed that it, you know, I probably didn't get it, so I just bring down the dome. Um, that's gonna have to recharge again, unfortunately. But um, like I said, the wraith is just so hard to even keep in Daisy sight. Really, like the Daisy gaps it could really it could um, cross with the its warp really ability or with its warp dash ability is so big. Its decoy nope, never mind. allows it to be really stealthy, especially early game. And even even if you catch it by some miracle um, early on, it still does... Um, it's still, you know, with its decoy, with its high mobility, um, it's able to really just uh, maneuver and around the arena enough for it not to take any damage whatsoever. Um, now, I'm right here, I'm kind of regrouping with uh, our medic. Our medic is going to be very important. I It would be really bad if the Wraith actually was able to pounce on our medic, take her down, and, uh, you know, um, just is. put a pounty on her, really. And then your jet pack runs so, we're there. trying to regroup. I'm trying to find the Wraith. Okay, we see it. We, I pinged it. Um, 
we have to cross this big gap. This is one of the gaps I absolutely hate um, on this map. Like, crossing this gap is just ridiculous. It's so big, and your jetpack is never, um, you know, full enough for you to actually uh, cross it appropriately, you know, effectively, whatever. Anyways, the Wraith did appear around this area. We're trying to cut around, maybe cut it off at a certain point. Uh, we, we don't know yet. Thankfully, I'm not alone. Hank is staying with me, man. Me and Hank, we we, uh, we go back a long way. As you can see, the Wraith is now level 2. Without a hiccup, really. I put down the dome. Uh, I think the Wraith is evolving near us. And I do uh, put down the dome just in case uh, um, here. it is nearby. It appears that it was right outside um, my dome, unfortunately. So I am going to have to take it down. That is another, uh, you know, waste, I guess. Uh, you know, it's either either it pans out for you or it doesn't. And unfortunately, it didn't. Um, I was maybe a few feet off. I'm not sure why, but they're uh, attacking this elite. I'm guessing it's for the perk. Let's see what perk we get from this. Um, a damage reduction. Okay, damage output increased by 35% is really good. It allows us to uh, do more damage to the Wraith. Um, we all know that the Wraith has the lowest armor and health. So maybe you could take it down fast enough before it takes all of us down. Um, you can see Daisy is uh, trying to get his tracks. You can see his tracks are leading over this way to the northeast of the map. And... The Wraith is playing uh, like a Wraith should. Really really stealthy. Uh, not really in much danger whatsoever. And, you know, that's that's probably the reason why the Wraith is so powerful. It's just the fact that it's almost impossible to do any damage to it. Um, even at stage 1. So when it's stage 3 and it's all beefed up. When it, you know, has its most health. When it has its most... Uh, that's a you know, it's, target, it's when it's damage output is just so much bigger than when, um, than when it starts. Uh, you're really at a disadvantage, you know. It's hard to hit it at, or to even do damage to it at stage 1. So imagine stage 3 when it could really lay down um, some damage using uh, its special ability, which is Supernova. Supernova, I, it slipped my mind for a second. Excuse me there. Um, but yeah, and you know, the fact that it's raining... Uh, I think the rain covers up some of the monster's tracks, or, yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. And, uh, it also makes it just harder to see. So, no, you know, the rain has Daisy. everything going Daisy in its favor right now. It's, uh, like raining, bumper. decreasing our visibility of it. Um, it's probably getting its, its tracks hidden by the rain. Um, I think I'm following Daisy. I'm like, okay, I have no idea where it is. She's Let's try following Daisy, Daisy, see if it leads us. More or less in the right area. You can see the Wraith is right over there. Sizzle Bacon. You are domed at low. Okay, he's stage 2. Monster he's stage 2, okay. He's not stage 3 out. yet. So, technically, we should be able to... Uh, we should still be more or less even when it comes to combat. Um, as you can see now? there, the Wraith is just, like, destroying our, our whole group. He takes down the support really quickly. He uses that Supernova. Starts working on our medic, I'm unfortunately. I'm, I'm deciding to revive the support since um, the I'm medic is probably going to go down. He does not go down because he gets that per uh, that shield from Hank, which is really nice. Um, he's right on top of me. That's, that is a decoy, yeah. All right. Um, he uses abduction to abduct yeah. our medic. Our medic goes down. Uh, Hank uses his orbital strike. I'm not sure how effective that is. Um, we're gonna go try resurrecting the medic, but you can see uh, that's what the Wraith was actually hoping for. He uses a decoy to kind of do damage to us right there. Um, we are able to get our medic up, thankfully, um, thanks to the assault, and I, I'm guessing he was using his personal shield there. Uh, but yeah, you can see we didn't even take out his armor yet again. Um, and this is the problem. This is the problem. This is the balance issue that Turtle Rock is gonna have to work on um, to make the Wraith more vulnerable you know um it, a game's never going to be perfectly balanced but you know it could come pretty damn close to it. and turtle walk turtle turtle rock has uh shown that uh is or they are capable of uh balancing out the God, game so quite scared. nicely the um fucking this was the same problem like i said before that happened with the kraken in the big alpha that they had and 
statistics show after this uh, beta, the, the Kraken had almost a 50-50. Almost a 50-50. Really, really close to a 50-50 win to lose ratio. So, you know, that's as balanced as it's going to get. I think it was maybe like 48 to 52 or something like that. So it was really, really close, Um, you know, considering that it was, you know, winning 8 to 7 times um, out of 10. You can see the trap draw. Holy crap, that tra trap draw just freaking flung out of the swamp. He was like, I'm going to munch on this trapper. Um, the Wraith gets in here. He's all the way up there. He's trying to abduct us, which is really obnoxious. He pulls me away. I'm I'm, I'm in trouble, man. I'm trying to fly up. I'm trying to um, lose him. I do end up regrouping with um, my team right here. And I am able to dome him. Still at stage 2. So, like I said, it should be more or less an even fight. Hey or Hyde goes in there with the flamethrower. I go down. He's using supernova. I think he's attacking our support. Our support is down and that was his third strike. So he is done for good. Um, I am able to get up. I think the medic was the one that got me up. If not, it was Daisy. Uh, you know, the oh, salt did good work there. He's actually, he was actually able to, uh, go through his armor. Um, our, yeah, our medic is down. That's their second strike. So next time our medic goes down, that will be a uh, automatic kill. Um, uh, you know, aside from that, it's in the trap or the trap jaws uh, swamp, which makes it dangerous just to go in there for the medic. Uh, I stay away. I'm he down. uses supernova on me. I go down. That's my second down. Um, and, and you can see, you know, the the wraith. Man, the wraith. Uh, Daisy gets me up. All right, we're up. Let's run. Let's run. Me and the assault kind of split up, I think, at Everybody this point. Um, you know, at this point, there's no way me and the assault alone could handle the wraith. I think the best bet is just to, uh, you know, bring down the time, click down that timer. Uh, I get hunted down really quickly. The assault is... I'm not sure what he's doing. He gets <laughs> stuck under that platform, which is unfortunate. Um... But yeah, we're kind of waiting for that timer to go down and hopefully all of us can regroup and uh, maybe take down the Wraith. But, you know, it's unlikely. Like I said, it is so powerful. It's so powerful. The Wraith finds them. Um, it's really easy to find hunters as the monster with your smell ability. And there it goes. The Wraith wins once again. Um, not to my surprise. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, smash the like button down below. Comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And like always, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And I'll see you on the next one. Johnny.